previously on Leukemia Update. But a couple of weeks before then, I was called by the doctor. Um, the most recent blood tests I'd done came back as a, what they call a weak positive. And um, we know that my leukemia is very aggressive. They're also going to plan me in for what's called a DLI. Hello world, it's time for a leukemia update and um, what shall I say, um, last time I left you with the news that I was going to get a white blood cell transfusion, a DLEI they call it, donor lymphocyte infusion and I've had it. I was going to give a pretty much pretty soon a response to it but um, I decided to wait to see how I react because one of the dangers of getting white blood cells is you can form a rejection to your white blood those white blood cells but also to the stem cells which you put in now um usually they don't like to do this procedure because of that but because i've shown no signs of rejection they've decided to try it with me but we didn't go for a full infusion or transfusion um what happened is i went to amsterdam for the day well i thought for the day it was going to be half a day um my dad drove me and so we went off there and they hooked me onto the IV, uh, some water, and then they brought a syringe about, um, oh, cameras, this much. And um, in a syringe, and they just put it in. Uh, and then I just sit there an hour and, and nothing happened. And I got to go home. And they just wanted to wait and see what happened. Now, the good news is there's been no signs of rejection. Um, so, things are looking good. They are looking at the option of um, giving me another dose but then a proper dose uh, to fight whatever little leukemia cells are trying to generate um, the protein marker is still positive although it's it's very slight it's not really affecting my blood it's not affecting my life which is a good thing but it's enough for the doctor to say we should really do something about it because i don't want to risk it getting out of hand so they're going to still plan that uh, that'll be later i don't know when they're going to do that uh, but that's kind of where we are now um, I think it is also important to mention that um, my rehab is uh, going pretty well. Um, I've made lots of progress. It's just one of the strange things I've come across the last month is um, it would seem my muscles have um, you hit some form of limit. Now, I don't know if it's like temporary or what it is, but um, I had that my left wrist got incredibly sore because of overuse. And it started to swell up, so I gave it rest. Uh, then I hurt my right elbow, and as that healed, I got my vaccines, uh, which I'll mention in a moment. Um, that sort of paralyzed my leg to the point where I, the day I got the vaccine, the next day I could hardly even walk. That took a week to heal. And when that was done, my left wrist went bang again and got even more swollen and more sore. I was actually walking around with a sling. Um, I thought I'd have to do Christmas with a sling on, but just before then, it started to heal up enough that I said I could take it out. And it's then gone into the elbow. And there's always seems to be something at the moment. We, uh, we're not too sure about what it is. Um, but it just seems like I need to give my body a little bit of rest at the moment. Um, I suppose it makes sense. I've in the last few months been working very hard at getting fit again. Uh, and getting a bit more muscle. Um, and sometimes your body just needs to take a break. So we've had, uh, I've had a couple of weeks where I've done less intensive with the uh, physical training. But that's just to uh, get rest. Uh, about the vaccines, um, I've had my next shot of vaccines. Um, I had four injections in total. Right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Um, that was fun. Not really. Um, but I got those um, and they're mostly to handle uh, a lot of childhood uh, vaccines that you usually get because my immune system is officially just one year old now. Um, it's got the uh, memory of a one year old uh, um, immune system. So that's... Um, got to be done so we've done the vaccines um i'll in a, i think pretty soon i'm gonna get another one um and um, then in january february another one as well um and then we've completed that set and um that's got things to do with like hepatitis b is in there um there's um whooping cough is in there polio uh tetanus that sort of stuff um are also in there so that's all sort of uh you know just to try and cover those things um, as far as meds are concerned, I'm still on all my meds. Um, we haven't dropped any since for a while now, but that's got a lot to do with the fact that the 
blood's uh, misbehaving. But despite those things happening, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm still fit. I can still walk. I can do a lot. Um, sleeping is a bit of an issue lately, but um, not sure what that's about. But uh, I sleep a little restless, but I try to catch on sleep on other moments. But that's just, uh, I suppose, uh, sometimes things you go through. Um, but um, otherwise, I'm doing quite well. And uh, we'll be trusting in the Lord that that stays that way. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, do like and leave a comment behind. Uh, let me know what you think of this. And um, I'll see you next time. Keep well and God bless.